Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and today we're doing division. Now there's two kinds of division. You've got your short division and your long division. Short division is when you're dividing by a single digit, like four or seven. Long division is where you're dividing by more than one digit. So if you're dividing by 13 or 26 or 165, that's all long division. So if you're interested in long division, go and watch the long division video. This is just going to be short division. So we'll start with a nice easy example. We'll do 64 divided by 4. So you're saying how many times does 4 fit into 64? Now this is going to be the traditional method, the bus stop method as it's sometimes called. The small number that you're dividing by always goes on the outside. You draw your bus stop and then the big number goes underneath the bus stop. Some people like to stick this line at the bottom it doesn't really matter if it goes at the bottom or the top. Personally, I tend to stick it at the top. So then you're saying, how many times does 4 divide into 6? So 4 will go into 6 once, with 2 left over. We say there's 2 remainder. So 4 into 6 goes once. How many times it fits in always goes at the top. And the remainder, the 2 in this case, goes on to the next column. So that's going to turn the 4 into a 24. So again, 4 into 6 go once. Remainder 2, and the 2 goes here to make the 4 into 24. Then you say, how many times does 4 go into 24? Well, 4, 6 is a 24. So 4 into 24 goes 6. There's no remainder, so there's nothing to write on the next column. And in fact, we don't have any more numbers there, so you can stop. Your final answer will always be at the top. So 64 divided by 4 is 16. Great. Let's try a harder example. So I'll take a nice big number now, 47,901, and we'll divide that by 7. Let's practice our 7 times tables. So again, the number you're dividing by goes on the outside, you draw your bus stop, and the big number sits underneath the bus stop like this. So then 7's into 4, hmm, well 7's won't fit into 4, 7's too big. So you could say 7's go into 4 zero times. The remainder then would be 4, because you haven't used up any of the 4 you were trying to divide into, and you can write that there to turn the 7 into a 47. Personally, I don't tend to bother. What you can just do is say, well, 7 into 4 go nothing, and so I'm going to divide into 47, and you can just read the number across like that. So if you like to write the remainder there, or you can just read it across. So 7 into 4 go nothing, so I'm going to do 7 into 47. Now, 7 into 47 will go 6 times. 6, 7 to 42, so you write the 6 there. Now, if 6, 7 to 42, and we're actually dividing into 47, the difference between the 42 we've got and the 47 we need to get into is 5. So the remainder this time will be 5. You put it on the next column, as always. So now we're doing 7 into 59. Now, 7 into 59 will go 8 times. So you write that there because 7 eighths are 56. So from 56 up to 59 is a remainder of 3. So you put that on the next column, that turns the 0 into a 30. Now you're doing 7 into 30. 7 into 30 will go 4 times because 4 7s are 28. So 28 up to 30 is a remainder of 2 this time. So you put your remainder there to make the 1 into a 21. And then finally, 7 into 21 goes 3 times. So that goes there. Now I've got no more remainder, no more digits. So my final answer, you can ignore the 0 at the front, is 6,843. Now a little word about this 0 at the front. Some people don't bother writing it there. You don't really need to put it there. Let's just backtrack to where we were at the start here. 7 into 4 go nothing, so why bother writing anything? Just do 7 into 47. However, I do see some people, when they do 7 into 47, writing the 6 there. Now, if you do that, it's all going to go horribly wrong because you don't know quite what to put in here, so you end up doing the 7 into 59 goes 8, 4, 3, and then some people are like, ah, I've got a space in the middle, what am I going to do with that? And they just tend to stick a random 0 in, and that's going to give you the wrong answer. So. What I recommend is that you say 7 into 4 goes nothing and actually write the 0 there. It will just prevent you from writing any other digits there that are not supposed to be there. So then you can say 7 into 47 goes 6 and the rest of the digits 
will all fall in the right place. It's very important. Every time you divide into a number, the answer goes directly above it. So that's short division. As I say, if you want to see long division, check out the long division video. My name is Jonathan Hicks, and you've been watching Teach Me Maths. Thank you.